Hi, I'm Senator Jim Inhofe from Oklahoma and the top watchdog of the Obama administration's global warming agenda. Now, I had really hoped to be with you guys in Cancun tonight, but we had votes that came up that I couldn't miss. And given that the EPA is busy trying to implement the cap and trade through the back door, I felt it was important to keep watch in Washington. So you, you see, and I think it's important that we understand this, the Obama administration is trying to achieve administratively what they couldn't do legislatively. Cap and trade is now dead, dead as a doornail. And as the American people rejected it uh, in the ballot box on November 2nd, uh, the funeral is over. But that hasn't stopped the Obama EPA. So it's our mission now to stop the EPA and its job killing agenda. You know, we've come a long way since the last UN climate meeting last uh, year when President Obama, Hillary Clinton, Lisa Jackson, Nancy Pelosi, John Kerry, and dozens of lawmakers made their way to Copenhagen to tell the world that cap and trade was going to pass the United States Senate. Yet the truth was it had no chance of passing. To deliver that message, I traveled to Copenhagen as a one-man truth squad. <laughs> I was only on the ground for about two and a half hours, but I think that was the most enjoyable two and a half hours of my life. The message was I delivered is very clear. Under no circumstances will global warming uh, in cap and trade uh, legislation pass the United States Senate. And the reporters were all there. And, and uh, you know, one thing they all had in common, they all hated me. But the truth does hurt. And the fact is nothing is going to happen in Cancun this year, and everybody knows it. I couldn't be happier, and poor Al Gore couldn't be more upset. It has been widely reported that he's depressed about Cancun. But let me be clear, despite our successes over the past year, global warming alarmists will continue to push their agenda. For example, some leaders in Cancun are stepping up their attacks on capitalism and the United Nations officials are saying that we need to do uh, more to spread the wealth around, all of this and more of the same. You guys may have forgotten it, but I remember it so well. It was the French president, Jacques Chirac, way back in 2000, said that the Kyoto Protocol was the, quote, first component of a, an authentic global governance. And remember Margot Wallstrom, she was the, at that time the uh, European Union's uh, environmental commissioner. She said that in, 19, in 2001, that Kyoto is about, quote, trying to create a level playing field for big business throughout the world. And that's what it's all about. And that's when I made the statement that global warming is probably the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people. Well, let me end up by saying how grateful I am to the Americans for Prosperity for organizing this evening, this event tonight, uh, which is being broadcast live to over 20 states. In particular, I want to say thank you to my good friend and head of the Oklahoma chapter of the AFP, uh, Stuart Jolly. He's done a terrific job, and I understand there's a large party back in Oklahoma tonight as well. Uh, Stuart, it was just two years ago that I joined you and a number of Oklahomans in Washington when I was lucky enough and fortunate enough and honored enough to receive the AFP's top award at the Defending the American Dream dinner. That night I said in my remarks, it's easy to be principled and, op and oppose the march of big government during good economic times, but conservatives and other free market advocates must especially be courageous when times are tough, and that is true today. So thanks to the work of Americans for Prosperity and other free market groups, I think we're well on our way back to restoring the American dream and turning around our economy. I can just say this, keep up your good work, and for those of you in Cancun this week, stay strong, take no prisoners, and enjoy the party.